Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Asia and I'm back with another video. So as promised, I wanted to come in, give an update on what I think 2025 is going to look like for me in terms of planners and notebooks. So as you guys know, this was my Hobonichi order <laughs> for this year. And I kind of... I wish I would have did more research or just looked at more stuff before I placed my order for Hobonichi because that $28 shipping is given like I don't want to place another order. But I kind of think I'm super happy with this. Like I love this week. So I can't wait to set it up. I think I want a Han that's like more hardcover. This is the paper series, which I love. I love the gingham. The gingham is what I have for my weeks for 2024. But... I feel like with this, I need to buy a cover. And I was thinking about buying another cover like this for this one. But there's some Han, A6 Hans that I see in like designs that I'm like, oh, maybe I want that. So I've been thinking about it. Um, and then I could just sell this one. But I'm contemplating. Either way, A6 Hobonichi is what I want to use for this year to see if it works for me. Okay, so y'all know the weeks is going to be my daily everything, everyday carry, just like everything planner, like just really a planner. We'll do some um, memory keeping in the back per usual and just like different lists. I feel like it's so many pages back here. I don't know, this is regular 60, 70. Um, but yeah, this is like my everyday. I'm going to continue to use the weeks until probably forever, so... Look how much of a difference it is. Like, look how chunky this one is compared to this. I can't believe it ever started this small. Ugh. So, yeah, this is going to be my functional planner per usual. The Han. Okay, so y'all know this year I'm using, this is really like my kind of like journal, my thoughts, whatever, the A5. My problem with the A5 is that sometimes I feel like it's too much space and I just don't need that much space to like write down everything I want to write down. But I like the setup of it. The only thing about this is it doesn't have any weeklies in the front, which is fine. I feel like I don't need that necessarily. Um, so I'm going to try this out as a journal. This is strictly a journal, memory keep, journal, whatever. So no planning is going to be going on in here. Just strictly thoughts, thoughts and vibes. So yeah, I am, like I said, I think I may buy a different design or I may just keep this and buy a cover for it, but we will see. So we got our planner. We got our journal for 2025. This is a pocket, um, most the action that I bought for five dollars a 2024 daily. Um, but y'all know I'm just redate it and use it as, um, I guess like a probably like a, just a catch all brain dump, just and throw it in my bag whenever I want to just have something to write on. So that's what I'm going to use this as. No pressure, really, just whatever, like list to do list. Same way I kind of use this one. It's just going to be whatever I want it to be. So, but I just really love this cover. It's so cute. And I got this sticker sticker from Little Magic Plans. These little charms are from, this one's from Shein. This one's from AliExpress. And then my Ollie clip. And that's it. And then the cigarette sticker is from AliExpress, I believe. So yeah, that's what that's going to be. Just, I guess we can call it a brain dump notebook. Then this, I showed you guys in my last video. I will see how I'm doing with these and determine if I want to use this for next year. It's already been marked and dated starting October, so <laughs> I can take these off and like redo it if I want to, but I feel like it looks cute. It looks pretty. So once I figure out, like if this is all I need, especially like with journal and everything, I'm probably not going to pick this up. But if I do want a bigger option, whatever, y'all know how it goes. So I could change my mind about all of this. Or I could use this as a school planner for next year. I've been thinking about that too. Like I've been trying to watch videos of like academic planners and like school planners. Because I don't have a designated school planner. I have a notebook that I use for school, but it's just like for notes and stuff. Um, And I don't really feel like I need to plan for school that much. But also, I feel like I should plan for school a little bit more. Like maybe that will help me stay more organized because I kind of just like hop online, do my stuff and then get off. But I probably should like plan it out more 
and I'm thinking about using this for that. So I don't know. We're going to see. We're going to see. But it's already decorated. Tab's already on here. So it's like I might as well use it. And it's so cute. But yeah, that is my plan for 2025. Um... I do think I may buy astrology, a half year astrology, and incorporate that somehow with this, maybe. But I honestly feel like I don't need it. I feel like I feel like these three are just like really all I need. And I kind of love that for me. I don't know. I feel like this is it. So we will see. Um, I am gonna buy a new Moterm cover for this. I'm not. I'm not gonna use the black one. I'm gonna buy a taupe cover and shove this one i think that'll go better with this yellow because i don't think i'm gonna put any stickers or anything on this yellow it's just so pretty i love this cover i wish if they had the a6 of this i know they have like the um the cover for it but if they had like the actual like a6 of this or this i would buy it for sure for sure but they don't so good for me because i don't need to be buying anything else i'm trying to keep it simple for me um I'm already thinking about 2026. Does anybody else think about 2026? <laughs> I think for 2026, depending on how this year goes, I'm going to challenge myself to be like in one book or maybe two. And I think I want the cousin to be that. Um, like I said in my last video, I have an Evec. Um, The only thing about the Evec is that I hate the color of the covers. I hated this for a long time too, but now it's kind of whatever. But I think I'm going to try to be in one book maybe two because i feel like the weeks is like i just i gotta have weeks like it's no it's and or buts and i really feel like if you have these two that's it that's all you need right so we will see let's let me let me uh slow down and just think about 2025 for a second let me get through that year and then see what it's what it's gonna do but yeah i think this is it for 2025 you guys and i can't wait to see how it all turns out i can't wait to look through all my books for 2020 from 2024 with you all um, because I definitely plan on doing some flip through videos and just some reflect. Oh, here comes Charlie doing some reflecting. Hi, <laughs> doing some reflecting on just the year. Um, yeah, I cannot wait. I can't wait for everybody's end of the year videos to see what everybody's been doing and how we've grown and like just evolved in our notebooks over the year. So, I think 2024 has been like a crazy year. So that's it i just wanted to show you guys this is the plan for 2025 y'all if i say i'm bringing anything else in here y'all need to be like girl i thought you said and i'm gonna be like you know what you're right i did say that but i think this is it i don't feel like i need anything else um let me know what you guys have you guys like decided on like concrete what you're doing for 2025 i want to know i want to know what everybody's doing so leave a comment below and i will see you guys in my next video bye